Hello, all my beard gardeners out there. My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And I'm bringing you guys a quick hitter video today that I think could be very useful. On this channel, I really like to dive into the educational health behind a beard so you guys can have the healthiest beard to perform the best, look the best, and stay the longest. That is really important to me. And one topic that I've covered in a couple different ways is the idea of split ends. Split ends are showing damage to your beard but can also cause further damage. Well, this video is going to be about how can you spot and find those split ends. Anytime I make a video and I cover that topic, somebody puts in the comments, well, how do you know if you have split ends and how do you find them? Boom, I'm gonna break it down nice and easy for you guys today. So first off, what is a split end? Real quick, Spark Notes version. A split end is the hair fibers breaking through the outer protective layer of the hair shaft. Now, this is most commonly found at the end of your hair, hence the name split end. So instead of your hair ending with a singular fiber, it frays off in multiple directions. But it can happen on any part of your hair. It can be anywhere where the shaft is located, even near the base. Now, why is it the most common at the end? Because these are the oldest parts of your hair. Your hair grows out from the base and everything towards the end is the old soldiers or the ones who've had the longest journey. So they are most likely gonna have the most damage. But that doesn't have to be the case. You can get damage on any part because of the hair bending from overusing chemicals, from overusing heat, from over aggressively grooming, or even things like I see commonly guys will have to wear a mask for work or wear a mask to bed, and it's putting the same area of hair in jeopardy every day. And it's not the worst thing, but when it adds up year after year after year, that can cause that middle of the hair split end. So how do you find it? The best tool to be able to find split ends are your hands. You're gonna be able to feel the split ends and the damage in your hair a lot better than see it. Now I do have a mirror over here for this video because I like to find the problem with my hand and then inspect it with a mirror. And I like to use a personal mirror rather than getting close to one in the bathroom. It just works a lot better for me, but really any mirror is gonna work. So what you're gonna do is really meticulously go through your beard by using your hands. And first, let me say when I recommend doing this, I recommend checking for split ends at night before your night routine. Why? All of your products from the day have had a chance to absorb into your beard. Your beard is feeling pretty good, looking great at the end of the day, and it's almost product free if you're using good products. Guys, if you're putting products in in the morning and you still feel them by the end of the day, you got something wrong there, you need to switch it up. So it's the end of the day, your beard is ready for that night nourishment, but before that, let's examine the beard. So what you're gonna do is grab little sections and really run your index finger and your thumb down and get a feel. If there is damage there, you are going to feel the damage. I don't even really have to explain it, you will tell that it's different. With the one exception, I can always feel the split end on my beard, Otherwise, if I feel something, it is what I call kind of the crinkle cut fries and sometimes your beard gets texture and that's okay. I like the look of texture in a beard. I don't like those like almost like long girl hair strands. I like a little bit of texture in there. So find that, sometimes that will feel like a split end. That's when you go and examine. So start wherever you'd like. I most commonly have my split ends right here, kind of where the white fangs go down. I don't know why, I've really looked at my routine. I've looked at everything I do. I think it's just my skin. There's something that the way it grows out, it just kind of causes damage once in a while, even though it is pretty rare for me. So you're gonna grab the hairs and just simply kind of run down like this. And if you're anything like me, you got a really thick, wide nest in here of hairs, and it can take a while, but it's kind of weird, but it really is almost like meditation for me. I really enjoy running my fingers through my beard, especially at night when all that product has absorbed in, and I love to find those areas. Split the hairs like this, and really dig in there, and go finger to thumb, and really push down. The smaller amounts at one time, the better. That means you are closely analyzing each hair strand and just simply finding them. After you've gone through a couple times, your beard's feeling a little bit out of control, kind of do it like this. Give it a few little sweeps in there I like to do. And then I like to take my oxhorn comb and I like to just calmly go through. And this will be the same idea for knots in your beard as well. If you find a split end or you find a knot. So let's say I go through like this. 
and you can even feel with the comb, maybe it snags on something and I say, okay, I felt something here. I'm gonna go in this area and if I believe I have something, I'm gonna check my mirror, which I have right here. And you will physically see that damage. So let's say that this is one that I found, okay? It's not, but for the sake of the argument here, if I found a knot or if I found a split end, what do I do? Grab your favorite pair of shears or scissors, right? And what you're gonna do is just simply cut above where that damage is at. If you get rid of it, your hair will likely be fine. But you do want to remove any of those split ends or knots that are in your beard. So again, real quick recap to really drive home this point. How do you find the split ends in your beard? Use your fingers and feel that textural difference. You'll feel a nice smooth hair and then all of a sudden it'll feel like it's frayed a little bit. It'll feel like it's splitting apart or the texture will just be different. You will know, I absolutely promise, but the way you go about that is methodically going through. And the most common spot is on the ends of your hairs down here. A lot of times our hairs like to kinda curl up or make a little maneuver like this at the bottom and they like to st stick in there nicely. Really stretch those hairs out and try to feel for that. I really believe this is a very healthy maneuver for your beard even to get it moving in different directions. When your beard sits in one style and one uh, like direction all day, it wants to develop some bad habits. Get that beard moving and breathing in different areas. Get some air to the spots of that middle of your big thick beard's nest that had not touched it all day. And that is really good for your beard. And again, for me, it's like therapy. It's relaxing. I get to enjoy this beautiful beard that I work really hard for, all right? So that is how you guys are going to find and get rid of your split ends or knots in your beard. Please leave me a question down below on anything that you have with split ends, with the health of your beard, with finding something unhealthy, or if you are confused with anything in this video. I really think I wanted to keep this short and to the point and something that people can actually use that they've been asking me. So thank you guys for watching this. Once again, my name is Dan C. Bearded. I hope that you stay bearded and please stay positive.